Hey guys, it's Rogway here, and it is time for another tutorial. And today we are looking at typography, and we are looking at how to make pictures out of words. And if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, let me just do a quick little Google search here for some examples. Typographic picture. And here we go. Here's a bunch of good examples. So something like this, somewhat trendy, see a lot of it. Um, and there's all sorts of different versions of it where we have a picture made of words. And uh, it looks really awesome, actually. Um, I, it's been done a lot. Especially nowadays, uh, up to this point, it's been done a lot. But it's not difficult to do. So I'm going to show you a technique that you can use to get this fairly quick. There are other ways to do this, but uh, let's get started. I have a file here called... First of all, let me show you the photo I started with. had this girl with her hand outstretched. Alright, I thought that could work. And uh, let's open up the typography alt file. Oops, let me get that open with uh, Illustrator. Oops, geez, I'm tired today. Okay, so we got that open with Illustrator. Wait for that to load. Hopefully, it doesn't take long. And we're going to use a technique to fill it in with all sorts of words to get that same sort of typographic picture look. All right. This is not difficult to do. Um, you may want to go back and tweak it after if it doesn't look that great, but we'll, we'll talk about that as we get to that point. I really should have had this already open, but okay, here we go. So this is the starting file that I created and I don't know if you can tell but this outlined hand is made up of segments each segment of the hand is a separate object and without me going into too much detail on how I did that you want to get separate objects for the parts that you want to fill with the text. It's very important, all right, because uh, otherwise it'll just fill the whole thing in. All right, the easiest way I found to do it, I mean, there's a lot of ways to do it. I just uh, went, traced the, the hand and all the sections, okay, got it all traced out, put the lines in, for the segments and then I just use the live paint to fill in all the little pieces okay then got rid of all my original lines and I just use the live paint pieces put a stroke on them and that left me with the segments so that's one way of doing it I'm going to show you this technique super easy way of doing this okay I'm going to select the whole hand First of all, I want to make sure all my lines are in front. Object arrange, bring to front. Very important that your objects are on top of the pieces that you want to fill them in with. And along the side here, I have all the words that I want to fill in these pieces. Okay? So far, so good. Now one thing um, about the method that I'm going to use here, um, I'm going to actually unlock the lower layer, the original picture layer. So you can see how I created this. I got my original picture, then my trace layer, and my names, or my, yeah, my finger names on a layer in between. So I'm gonna actually unlock that original picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the straightest part of the picture. Okay, and I'm going to explain why in a second, but I'm going to start with this part because it is almost 
perfectly horizontal. Okay, and hopefully you know what I mean by, by straightest. I mean that the shape is very nice and horizontal. And uh, I'm going to select the shape. Oops, wrong one. There it is. And I'm going to hold shift, and I'm also going to select the word that I want to go into that shape. Okay, so I got them both selected. And I'm going to use Envelope Distort in this case. I'm going to go Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. You see, that's why it was important that all the lines are at the top above your words. Okay, so Make with Top Object. And you'll see that Illustrator fills the shape with the word. I'm going to undo that for a second. Okay. I'm going to show you something here. I don't know if you'll remember how that went into there. I don't like the way Envelope to Store works, but it just automatically puts the word in in whatever orientation this picture or this part of the picture is in. And what I mean by that is if I select all the shapes and the original picture, and I rotate the palm so it's a little more horizontal then it'll probably put the word in a little better watch what I mean okay a little bit better now maybe with a finger I'll be able to illustrate what I'm talking about a little easier let's say we want to fill in the pinky so I select the pinky shape and I click the word pinky and I do the same thing. Do you see what I mean? It fills in the word however that shape is orientated to the word. So I don't like that. I want to run the word pinky down the pinky. So what I have to do, select the, all the shapes. I'm going to rotate it. Whoa, I don't have a lot of room to work with. That's why my mouse is bugging out here. I'm going to rotate that pinky so that it's horizontal. Now I'm going to click these shapes and just fill it in. Now you see how that looks much better? It's very simple, very repetitive. Okay? But there's the first finger done. And like I said, depending on how this picture is rotated, that's how Envelope Distort is going to put it into the finger. Okay, let's work our way back. So I'm going to do the ring finger now. I believe it is Shift-Command-C to do it. So let's just try that. Shift-Command-C. No, that didn't work. I must have the shortcut wrong. Envelope distort. Shift command C. That looks right. I don't know why that didn't go. That's okay. Easy to do. So we're just gonna fill it in. As you can see, you can if you have good shapes to work with, this can go very quick. Alright. Once again, select my shapes over here, rotate to the dreaded middle finger international sign of love just kidding middle finger here we go and we fill it all in there we go let's do the index you can see I can I can honestly get this done in a matter of minutes okay rather than going and distorting it manually which would take a very long time however there is a benefit to doing it manually you have complete control over how that shapes gonna turn out let's do the thumb so you know some people like that control and I don't blame them. Uh, so we're almost done. And I'm going to show you what we can do with it after. So I'm almost there. Um, oh, you know what? I made a big mistake. 
I made a big mistake. Hang on. The palm, or the object that I filled with the palm, is not actually the palm. It should be the knuckle. I wonder if I could just... Yeah, I can. I can just replace it. I know it doesn't make sense, knuckle on the inside of the hand, but that's okay. Now, the palm. I just realized that. So the palm, again, I find getting the shapes horizontal or as horizontal as possible, basically the way you want it to fit in is going to give you the best results. Okay, and that's why I'm constantly rotating. And I, I honestly think it's essential. There's no other way to do it. If there is, comment below, let me know. Maybe there is another way to do this. Now, the last shape, it's a weird one. I, I'm tempted to just leave it out completely. It's a strange one. You know what? I'll put it in, but it's not going to look good. How do I even? There you go. Okay. It's got this, like, sharp little piece down here, which is not going to look good, but let's do it anyways. Ooh. Okay, so there we go. The hand filled in perfectly with, well, not perfectly, but filled in with the text. And you can still read it. And it looks okay. Now, we could space these out a little bit so they're easier to read by using my arrow keys. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the words with the texture of the original hand. Because I think that's a cool effect. And it'll make it look more like a hand. So here's how we do that. We're going to select just the hand Okay, just the words. So what we could do is lock the original picture and then select the hand. Or you could just shift select the, hand, the original picture out of there. And what we want to do is we want to get these into actual objects. So I'm going to go object expand. And I'm going to expand my objects and fills. I'm going to say, okay, now we have actual strokes for these objects and I'm also going to create a compound path out of all of these so I'm gonna go object compound path make and now these objects will act as one okay so I got a pretty cool shape I can use there but like I said I want to get the skin texture inside all of these words so I'm now gonna unlock my original picture, I'm going to hold shift, I'm going to select both the object I just created and the original picture. I'm going to go object, clipping mask, make. It's going to say it's very complex, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes, look at that. Ah, you can see a couple problems. I My shapes weren't perfectly along the edge of her hand. But the cool thing is, now that I've got this got an object filled with an actual skin texture I can do whatever I want with it let's say uh, you know I'll put in a put in a background here Maybe I'll go black send it to the back and there you go check it out it looks pretty good looks pretty cool okay and now if I really want to I can go and distort this further clean it up, fix it up, do whatever I want to do with it. And it's a very, it's it's not exact, but it's a similar effect to what we see out there that people are creating with their typographic art. All right, so it's fun to do. Looks neat at the end. Uh, you could do people, faces, you name it, whatever you, whatever you can think of. All right, so be creative with it. Have a good time, and, and I'd love to see what you can come up with. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.